Good morning, my peepers. How are you? What's going on today? It is Monday, December 7th. Yes, it is. It is 9.30 a.m. I woke up half an hour ago, fixed me a cup of coffee, read my emails, chatted for a second with Robin. Okay. What's happening today with you guys? This is a new week in the planner. Yes. So, let's see. The weather for today. Oh my gosh. A high of 27. <laughs> That's Fahrenheit. Um, and flurries. Okay. Flurries. So, we are going to... It's cloudy. We're going to take this cloudy. Because flurries just means some flurries. So... We're going to take this guy that's cloudy and we're going to take this little snowflake. There. Little snowflake. And let's do, hmm. Let's do the green. I hope that you all slept well. You all had a good night. I slept great. Okay, there we go. Cloudy with snowflake. <laughs> I mean, I could make another snowflake. I can just take the cloudy off and leave the snowflake on. Let's put some more and... We can actually do there. Oh my God, I squished it. And there. I squished the other one. Yes, I know you can't see them very well. Our, uh, this ink is not the greatest. I probably should throw this out and get new ink. It's not that... I've used it a lot. It's not that pigmented. I need a really good pigmented. And I don't know. Can I use my um, distressed inks? I wonder. As I have distressed inks. wonder if I can use those. Okay, let's take this snowflake off. I did diamond paint last night, and the way that I'm moving along on that, it should be done by Christmas, but this week is cross-stitching week, and listening to books. I am <clears throat> trying to listen to as many books as possible. I have written down to watch two movies today, but that's wrong. This week, no. This week is, um, do you like this week's spread? Isn't it pretty? Yep. Oh, yeah, and I was going to write here, read-a-thon. It's read-a-thon weekend. Friday morning to Sunday night. Okay, so there's that for today. Everybody says they like seeing my planners in the morning videos. So this is today's. And so um, I do have a book to read that's published tomorrow. But 
I have a blog tour on Wednesday, so I need to read that first. And that is The Last to See Her by Courtney Evan Tate. That's a Harlequin. And the one for Tuesday is Take It Back by Kia Abdullah. So I have to listen to The Last to See Her, and then I can go to Take It Back. And then um, I can go to my TBR. Where is my TBR? Right here. Ho, ho, ho. I can go to my TBR and see what else is next. So, um, yeah, I, I read that one. So I can cross that one off. I still, I am really bad about getting up my reviews, and I want to because that came out on the second. Okay, then the next one is... For the 15th, there's two for the 15th. Truth Lies in Second Dates by Mary Janice Davidson and Don't Look Back by Christy Craig. So those two I also need to listen to this week. And do, 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 do. then I know that I want to, um, I have four forever books. That I need to get read and out of here. Three of the four are books. One is also a net galley. So what I will do is, since I like to listen to books, I will get these from um, the New York Public Library because I live in New York State. I can use their library program, and I can get ebooks and audio books from them, and see to do it that way. The only difference is I'm better off just getting audio because I couldn't get it. Um, you can't use the app on your Kindle, so I can't do text-to-speech if it's on my um, tablet. But I read quicker on an e as an e-book instead of a physical book. Don't know why. Anyways, I know that's more information than you probably wanted to know, but hey, that's my deal. And I do have a list of books that are all Christmas books that I've had from Not Galley since 2018. So I need to get them listened to this month also. Yeah, just my, I'm going to read more next year, less time on social media because I have so many on Not Galley that I want to get to. And you know what? If I get into the book and I'm not liking it, I'm not going to finish it. I don't care if it's on that galley. I'll put it on. Could not finish. That's all there is to it. Oh, yeah, and I didn't. So today, Scott is on vacation today and tomorrow. So I am going to have him pull out all my bins. This is really green. It's a pretty green. It's not blue. It looks blue on my screen. I'm going to have him pull out all my Christmas stuff. I need to put... I need to decorate the house. That's all there is to it. Um, I need to watch Fridays and today's General Hospital. I need to make a shading video. Mrs. Coffee. And I was in Kale's um, live stream. Mrs. Coffee came in and re requested that I make a video on how I do shading. And a few others in there agreed with her and said they want to see it too. So I need to make that today. I also need to make my Christmas premiere video that is going that will be up on Christmas Eve morning. I do have two movies to watch, but I don't think that's going to happen because I forgot this is reading weekend and I don't really watch TV or watch YouTube videos during reading week. So yeah, and I should vacuum. I do have to finish up the laundry. That is it today. Yep, yep, yep. So, let's work. See, things look blue on my screen. This is green. This is turquoise, really. Okay, so, I am still working on this buddy color. 
because I did not color much yesterday. I just was in a funk. I didn't feel like it. But I knew I do need to finish it because the tenth I started another buddy color. So bags. Let's do these a brown. Do these a brown. So what is everybody doing? Is your house done being decorated? We are. This is the last weekend. You can pick up the tree from the tree lot we get ours from. So, um, and they're only open on the weekends. If you want to come during the week, you have to call for an appointment. So we are going Friday morning, or I mean Saturday morning to get our tree. We've gotten trees at other lots and we're always a little disappointed. So we definitely keep going back to the same tree farm. <clears throat> it's big. They have a store there. They have petting zoo. They have all kinds of stuff for the kids to do. Now this year might be different. They have food, hamburgs, hot dogs, nachos, all kinds of stuff there. They have hot cocoa. Um, last year we bought fudge. There was a lady with fudge set up, homemade fudge. Um, yeah, it's a family run tree farm. They also do a pumpkin patch. We've never been there then and we should. I never even got pumpkins this year. This is the first year I did not have a pumpkin. A little disappointed in myself there, but what are you going to do when you don't go anywhere is because of the pandemic. So we'll get our tree. And I don't like getting my tree too early because it's real. But last year I did. Last year I was in the Christmas mood. We got the tree like a week earlier than normal. And the tree lasted. See, their trees last because they're freshly cut. And I like the, tr the tree that smells like oranges. I know it starts with a C, Concord or something like that. But they're always gone by the time we get there. Because they're popular. And Scott told me Saturday night that he's being laid off for three weeks. I don't know if I told you yesterday morning's video. Yep. In three weeks, he's being laid off. Merry Christmas. Yep. If you remember last year around December 16th was his last week. He was supposed to go back to work the second week of January. Then they pushed it to another two weeks and then another two weeks. Then the pandemic hit and they told him they could go back. And then it shut down. So he was out of work for six months. And then I got denied disability because of my age and they said that I couldn't get it just because of my asthma, my rheumatoid arthritis, my IBS. I'm like, my IBS alone? How do they expect me to work? Because I will be late. 
almost every day because I will, I just, because of IBS, I'm always running late everywhere as I go. And I would be in the bathroom a lot during the workday. And if I'm the type that's got to be on a phone call, do you know how many times I would be dropping that phone to run to the bathroom? And if the bathroom's not right next to me, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. People that do this have no clue that turn around and deny you. You come live with me for a couple weeks or just a few days and you will understand. Now, if I could work from home, if there was a job I could do from home that wouldn't require me to be on the phone because I'm, you know, you're on the phone with a client or stuff. Oh, hold on. I'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. I know, TMI. I'm just letting you know that it's BS to be denied and I can fight it. And I can get me a disability lawyer. But I don't know if Scott wants to go that route. And really, you want me to have an appointment with a lawyer? I will be late to that appointment. Or get there and be using the restroom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, definitely can't work retail. And I told them, I don't sit for long periods of time because my legs swell up. Even though I am on water pills, I'm supposed to keep my legs elevated. I don't stand for long periods of time because my back hurts from arthritis. morons that's all I have to say I don't know how some of my friends have disability how they got on it some of them are on disability just for anxiety and I explained about my anxiety no nope. so I cannot use my anxiety rheumatoid arthritis asthma because of my age the hell they're not doctors they don't feel <coughs> sorry <laughs> disease <laughs> they don't feel my body idiots And everybody told me, you can get disability. Look at you. Yep, my family and my friends know what it's like living with me. Yes, I can clean my house. Not for long periods of time. I get done vacuuming and I'm done for a couple hours. I dust. I'm done for a couple hours. Gotta go sit down. It's like it'll take me a while to uh, decorate the house. I'll do a room, rest for a little bit, do another room. See, when Justin lived at home, he helped me. Scott doesn't help me. He has no clue. He'll put it all out and say, there you go. And the only thing he does with the Christmas tree is put the lights on for me. Well, I help him. I can't say he does it all on his own because I hold the lights while he walks around the tree. Well, I have friends that are on disability just because of anxiety. How? 
but they're telling me no. Although this state might be the worst to get on it. I don't know. But if I didn't, yeah. I don't know. That's why I lost my job. I was missing too much time because I would get up to leave for work and the IBS would kick in. And I'd call in and I'd be a few hours late or I'd be on my way into work when it would hit and I'd have to turn around and go home. And I was having quite a few doctor's appointments. I was missing a lot of time from work. Yeah. And then my doctor wanted me to go to a diabetes program that was going on. They don't do it anymore. I don't know if it's because of COVID. But it was every Wednesday morning. Well, people work. I would love to go. You never see any programs on a Saturday. No, always in the mornings during the week, people work. And I certainly cannot use diabetes as an, as an excuse for disability because that they don't consider that a disability. Okay, I understand that. I do have to eat every couple hours, though something yeah okay on to something else <laughs> so if any of you were in my mad libs last night oh my god my stomach still hurts from laughing because you guys all said your husband needs to read those oh no I read them to him and I was dying And he's looking at me like we lost our minds. Yes, last night was back to how we used to do Mad Libs. Oh my gosh. It was too funny. And yes, it is adult Mad Libs. If you're under 18, you need to leave. <laughs> and I noticed, I think I got five thumbs down on my Mad Libs. And I'm getting more and more thumbs down on my videos. Don't know what's going on. A lot of, got a lot of grumpy people out there. A lot of grumpy people. Just goes to show you what some people's like. They're the ones with the problem. I noticed them in a few other popular YouTubers with thumbs down. It's like, you know what? And they're probably people that don't even make videos or live streams. No, if I don't like someone, I just don't watch it. And if I don't like the video, I still give it a thumbs up because they took the time out of their day. And some people that do this have anxiety. It, it takes them out of their comfort zone to make the videos. People need to be nicer. Okay, I'm having coffee. I will have the link below for this book and for the colored pencils. These are called delis. Now these delis do not have um, the pencil name or the color. doesn't have the pencil co color written on it. It does have a number. So if you swatch these, you can swatch them by number. 
which that is another thing I will be doing. I have a couple new series for next year. I'm going to be going through my coloring books and putting up videos of all the coloring books I have. I'm going to do it shelf by shelf. So every it'll be either be every day or every Monday. Probably every Monday that I'm going to go do one shelf at a time. I mean, I may do the videos all in one day, but they aren't going to get released to the public till like every Monday. And I will do a shading video. We are going to work on leaves and flowers first because those are the easiest. And then we will move on to hair and skin tone. As I, I learned how to do shading on leaves. So, and of course, the best books for those is Johanna Basford. And since her books are still readily available to purchase... That's what we're going to work on in case people want to purchase those. And maybe Tuesday's live streams will have to go back to tutorials. I'm just not really good at calling out the pencil numbers and or colors. I just do my own thing. And sometimes I flick the hair to make it look more realistic. And sometimes I just shade like this. I think it depends on the book I'm coloring in. And the mood I'm in. And John, the bibliophile colorist, his color lawn for all of next year is to finish coloring books. So the two that I have down is Phantomorphia by Kirby Rosanis and Johanna's Christmas by Johanna Basford. Those are the two that I'm focusing on for finishing. So I'll probably do buddy colors out of there. I will have to pick the pages though for buddy colors because I only have a few pages left out of each one. So if next year you would like to do buddy colors with me out of Phantomorphia and Johanna's Christmas, let me know. You can message me on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Why is my hand tingly today? Yeah. Buddy colors. I did say buddy colors, not buddy reads, did I? Who knows? <laughs> I get talking and forget what I'm saying. So yeah, buddy colors. I do have another buddy color in this this month. I think next. I did write it down. So I do write my buddy colors in this. It is on the first page. So yeah, oh no. I have one on the 10th with Kim T. And it's Johanna's Christmas. So we're doing a page out of Johanna's Christmas. And then back to this. Mm. Yep. -er. 
Okay, got that. Go back to the second color. Okay, so the delis work really nice in this book. Yeah. Last night's movies. Hallmark. Okay, so the first movie was um Christmas she wrote. So I had Lacey I forget how to say her last name. It had Lacey and is it Neil Dillon or Dylan Neal? And he's hired by a newspaper company to get rid of a lot of the employees on the newspaper. And so he tells her she's done and she writes of column for the newspaper and her fans have a fit and write into the newspaper they leave a lot of comments to her last one she says goodbye to all of her followers and the comments come in so the guy that owns the paper tells dylan neal or neil dylan that to get her back. Well, she went home for the holidays. And she's ignoring his phone calls. So he decides to show up in her town to tell her her job's back. And she doesn't know if she wants to work. She doesn't trust him. It was really good. I liked it. And then the second movie was A Little Christmas Charm. So this woman had gone through a coat. I think it was for like a charity or something. You know, they were, they were um, clothes that were dropped off. And she found a charm bracelet in there. And she figured the charms must meet, mean something. So she had gone to a jeweler and the one charm cost $3,000. So she knows that this charm bracelet must mean something for to someone. And a reporter gets involved in on it with her. And so they investigate trying to find where the charms came from and the significance to the charms. So that one was good. I can't remember the actress's name. The actor that plays a reporter is in Chesapeake Shores. He's one of the sons. Also, the first movie I watched with Lacey in it, that has also one of the sons from Chesapeake Shores. And he played a gay character. So they are bringing more diversity into their movies. They've had more gay people, gay characters in their movies, and they've had more interracial relationships in their movies. So, yeah, that was a good movie. Then what else did I do yesterday? That was it. I diamond painted, and my first, well, it still feels funky today. I've got, like, a, a little bit of a pain in my left 
wrist. It's not all the time. And today it's in my right wrist. So I ended up watching the last hour of the last movie, curled up on the couch with a blanket, and then Blitz came and curled up on me and the dog. And so I was nice and comfortable, and I had to fight to stay awake for the last half hour of the movie. Which is why I don't curl up on the couch with a blanket when I watch movies. Because I'll fall asleep. I have to be doing cross stitching or coloring or diamond painting when I watch. During the day, I'm fine. It's at night. Okay, so you guys want to know who's live streaming today? We know Michelle is. I just don't know what times. So, and Dee Dee is right now. At noon is Diamond Painting with Abigail. And these are all Eastern Standard Times. At 2 o'clock is Shannon. 7 o'clock is the Principal Painter. Also Gemini. She is a, cro a colorist. 8 o'clock is the Diamond Lady. 9 o'clock is Crystal's Crafty Creations. And 10 o'clock is Rivka's Craft Corner. And those are all subject to change. That's just what I've had written down. Okay, we got her hair done. We're getting a little bit done here and there. But I don't want to, I don't, I, I like to keep these videos short. And it's 36 minutes already. Yep. So, I'm not sure what color I want her eyes yet. I don't, I think I'm going to do them a brown. And that's it for today. What's my other color along? That's the one I'm starting on December 15th with Color and Create with Jana on Instagram. I can't wait because we are sparkling this baby up. Her wings will be sparkly. Her skirt, her dress, everything is going to be all sparkly. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do the background. Yeah, it's probably going to be a dark blue or a dark purple with the silver snowflakes. I think that's how I want to do that. Yeah, and her snowflakes and her wings will be silver. So I can't wait to get to that one. I'm going to have to look up some color palettes for it and, may, and I'll look on Instagram and Facebook. To see other finishes because I like I like to look at how other people colored things and incorporate some of it into my pictures. I didn't do that with this though. I didn't do that with this. I may though to get an idea. Well, no, because I'm almost I'm not almost done, but you know what I mean. So that is it for today, and yeah. We'll color on this some more tomorrow morning. Because today's what? The 7th? So I have today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursday. Now I want to finish this Wednesday night because Thursday I start the next picture. So that's it for today. I hope that you all have a great week. Let me know what you're up to. And I will talk to you all later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.